What's up guys, Jangles here. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Modded Minecraft. Uh, it's Friday, it's a good day. Friday's always a great day, it's the day before the weekend. I uh, just got home from, well I just got done working out after work. Working out is good for you, you should do it. Um, a lot of people think working out will make you tired. That's wrong. Well, it'll make you tired while you do it, but then it'll give you a lot of energy afterwards. Uh, before we start, I actually want to address a couple of things. Um, number one, I have noticed that in my videos I tend to mumble. The reason for this is because I mumble when I talk fast. I talk fast when I get excited. I get excited when I'm recording these episodes. <laughs> uh, not all the time, but when I want to show you guys something really cool, I get excited. So. Um, from now on, I'm going to be making a big, huge effort to improve the quality of the audio for you guys. I'm trying to cut out background noise, and I'm also trying to focus on uh, my speech, just because I tend to mumble when I get excited. Uh, who, who does it, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at what I've done here. Um, I've done some work on the house. I just spent yesterday uh, building. I kind of... Now, I know that it's all one texture. I kind of like it because it gives me the chance to create detail out of 3D depth. I'm kind of challenging myself with this house uh, and making it like one palette. It's not even really a house. It's kind of shifted. Um, I mean, it's a house. It's where I live, but it's kind of shifted the, 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 the picture of it. I was standing right over here, and I saw um, this walkway, this stair coming up, and I was, I was like, oh, man. I thought I could make walkways and, and elevated paths and just really cool because I mean th this this guy's uh, this this playthrough is magical anyways so open air is kind of what's up you know that's that's the best way to go about it I think that being at touch in touch with at one with nature <laughs> see there I go uh, stumbling because I get excited is the way to go about it so where's my flight potion so we're going to have kind of an open air house. Um, eventually I will have the thing from Extra Utilities that keeps mobs from spawning. But what I'm going to do is I've got these pillars in the corners and I'm going to pillar them up to a certain height. I haven't decided where. And I'll make an outline in the stone and probably like a little bit of a square and then it'll be all clear, clear glass. I've got a bunch of it cooking over here. Clear glass is from Tinker's Construct. It's awesome because... Uh, it's bugged. Well, all right. As long as it works from the bottom, it'll be okay. Does it work from the bottom? It seems to work from the bottom. So that that's all that matters. But it's supposed to be connected texture, I guess, in this version. It's bugged. But that'll be cool because we can place that up above our house up there. Um, it'll give us, like, a shelter from rain and stuff like that, but it won't obscure our view of the beautiful sky. Also, watch this. Nope. <laughs> How cool is that? All right. So, um, oh, this is this is an awesome thing right here. So this these are carpenter's blocks. You can see that I'm uh, I'm looking at them, and I'll actually go over here and show you what I've done here. Um, so let's grab one, let's grab a piece of stone, and we'll go down and, can I get lucky? Ah, I got lucky. Nice, that never happens. So you place the carpenter's block, right? What It, it can be any of them. I chose stairs for this because I thought it looked cool for the support structure. You put your block on it like that. Then you take something like seeds and you hold shift and right click and it's mossy. How awesome is that? That is the coolest thing ever. And you shift left click, shift left click, boom. It is so handy dandy that I don't even understand. So let's take a look at the the structure so far. We've got these cool little like pillar uh, stuff going on in here. It just kind of gives it some depth. Uh, I need to work along this open open way, I guess, to make it. I've got these cool little triangular blocks in the corners to look like the pillars that are on the corners of the house have more support. Um, I'm gonna be using dark oak for the stairs. Now this up here, I tried my best to make these pillars a blending of oak and stone, and it just didn't look right, so I ended up sticking with all stone, and I, I figured I wanted to challenge myself anyways on trying to do one texture. However, up here we're going to have walkways with um, carpenter's barriers. There's actually a lot of different ones you can have. Uh, I like this one. 
but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Do I want, you know, dark wood? Do I want this marble? If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them. Uh, another thing we're going to do is this is kind of going to be a walkway all the way around. You got these pillars that... Uh, these these little blocks here that are kind of in the corners are going to have nitor on them eventually once we get going with Domcraft. Um, but it's kind of going to be like this. This is like a floating room. This 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 will be a room and it will be dangerous. I mean, you can fall and there's may, might be another little room right here and I'll have stuff up here. You know, I'll have things going on and this this up here is probably where I'm going to put my teleportation runes from Witchery up here so that if I want to tra travel somewhere I can. Uh, let's go let's go take a, a nap and then I'll show you guys a couple of other cool things that I did or that I found out or that I'm going to do <laughs> Today's plan is to see how far we can get with um, Getting a familiar now witchery. I know we've been doing a lot of witchery lately. That's because I like it. It's really cool It's really fun. Uh, I'm really enjoying it and I crafted this right here this is a super awesome item. That's right, it's a flying broomstick. Basically, it's just, uh, where is the infusion? Broom and flying ointment with 3,000 power in just a 7x7 and 11x11 uh, circle. And the flying ointment right here is this, which is not hard. It's just a redstone soup, which we've made before. Um, and I have a quite the breed breeding of dogs going on right now and apparently uh yeah see right there got all those uh, i can harvest them and kill them whenever i want which is sad but uh i've killed like five dogs don't hate me it had to be done but apparently i don't know if witchery adds it or not but uh there are zombie dogs i don't know if that's vanilla i don't know but i killed a couple anyways I got the altar to 8000 power all i had to do was fill the chalice which is just the chalice we had before, chalice with redstone soup. So, um, and I forgot to mention the flying ointment was a kettle recipe. So we've got some extra stuff here. We've got some three tongue of dog, some redstone soup, a bunch of stuff. Um, this right here, which I mentioned before, is, I have to turn, take my bobble off. I told you that there was some right that would refill my energy. You can see I've been using it. Uh, if I throw a regeneration, just a base regeneration potion in here, like that, right click, it'll suck it up, and as long as I stand in the center, it'll regenerate my energy. I can leave this uh, right going as long as I want, and it just drains energy. It's like three or 4,000 at the get-go, but as you can see, my altar regenerates faster than that, so. Um, but regen potions are not hard to come by, so... I've got lots of gas here. So you just right click again to turn it off. Um, another thing we're gonna do real quick is I've kind of built up a little, um, I don't know, a little uh, for a rainy day, I guess, witchery uh, stuff, basically so that whenever I'm traveling around and I want to have a place to teleport back to, I can, I can uh, get there easily. So we're gonna grab, we need this white, small white circle here. Um, actually, Let's just make another one and then do that. No, we'll, we'll grab that one. We'll grab that one. So this one's too far away from the altar, I'm pretty sure, to grab. And I think it's just redstone and then this to grab it. So if we do this, this, it'll say, no, nope, it'll grab it. Yeah, un okay, no altar. Now that's why I crafted another altar and a wither skeleton skull. Because if you put an altar right next to it, what you can do, you have very little energy. I think... Uh, that would actually be enough to do this. However, with a Wither Skeleton Skull that you can take around with you, it gives it way faster region and a lot more power. So there are a couple of things that I'll want to do on the go that cost about a thousand energy. So with this, I can just like that. Oh, insufficient power. Is it a thousand? Let's see. Let's look it up. Go to the book, a uh, thousand. So we do need this. But we're almost there. It's pretty quick. I mean, it's only waiting a couple of minutes, and I need to get Ender Dew. Is that what I need for finding? Okay, there we go. We've got enough now. Throw them out. Right click. It'll suck up this circle for us, and then we just grab our skull and our altar, just like that. 
and we are good. And then we put it back in our bag. Yay! Witchery on the go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one other thing you may notice, I made these for a project we will be doing later, but not today. Um, let's see. Do I need the Ender Dew to teleport? No. What do I need the Ender Dew for? Ah, so it's glowstone, waystone, and enderdew. So I do need enderdew. So let's grab 10. Does that sound good? We can always make a ton more. I mean, we've got oodles and bukoodles <laughs> of um, ender, ender pearls now that we have. Is it is it this or does it need something else? Nope, it's just that. Awesome. Okay, so let's look into getting a familiar. Now, what we want is an owl. There are three types of familiars. I did a little bit of reading. There is a cat, a toad, and an owl. Now, the cat is good for curses and those kinds of things. Much better for a multiplayer server, I think. The owl is, well, the toad is for brewing. And there are a lot of cool brews. Maybe we'll eventually get into it. There's one that's... Really cool, if I didn't have the ability to teleport, it would have been really nice to have up front. It's the Brew of Vines. It's basically, if I was to stand right here and throw it, it would make vines go all the way down to there so I could climb up. Uh, it's really cool for traversing early on. Um, and then there is the, the Owl Familiar, which helps with this. Now this is cool. I know I can fly with um, potions, but you know, I'm a witch, right? However, the default broom is is fast, but very hard to control. Um, if you have a a uh, owl familiar, it's much easier. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, I actually read on the witchery page about what a familiar technically is. Now, you, I mean, I've heard it tons of times in games and stuff, but I never really realized that you're taking an animal and binding the soul of a demon to it. So I imagine we may have to get into some demon witchery. I don't know if we'll have time to completely do this today or not. Hopefully we will. Let's see. So circle magic. Let's actually look at what we need to do. Um, I might actually have to look this up outside of here. I don't know that there's a book. Let's look up witchcraft. I don't know if there's a book for familiars. Fumes, distilling, circle magic. Brews and infusions, herbology. It's probably under brews and infusions, to be honest. Let's see. What is this one? Odor of purity. So let's go grab one of those and a belladonna. Whoop. Let's grab a belladonna and an odor of purity. Do we have that? I really hope we do. Aha, we have a bunch of it. So it's Odor of Purity and then Ink Sack and Feather. Do we have Ink Sack here? We don't, but we have Feathers, I think. No, we don't. Well, boom, and we're home. How amazing is that? So we need a Feather, which we have a billion of that, and I think we have some books in here, just like that. Brews and Infusions, there we go. All right, let's see if this says what we need to know. Okay, brews. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is just a bunch of bunch of stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, where are the infusions? There's the flying ointment right there. Ah, infused brew base. We don't need that. Spirit of otherwear. All right, so this does not in any way, shape, or form tell me what I need. <laughs> so I will do some research, and we will be back in a moment. Okay, so I am incredibly furious right now because <laughs> I'm trying to get this zombie into this hole so that... Kill this guy. So that um, we're going to need a zombie for this whole process, right? And... I'm sitting here doing this dance with this guy, and <laughs> what happens behind my back? A creeper. What does he blow up? My mana pool that was completely and utterly full. So that was frustrating. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if we can't get this guy down in here. 
Oh, come on. Let's see if I can get you down in here. Come on. Punch him down or something. Oh, man. That was a completely and utterly full. Uh, full. Man, he's got a... Can I give you something so that you'll... You'll stay. Don't leave me. Will you not despawn? Okay, you picked up the dirt, didn't you? No, you didn't. Well, he won't despawn because despawn he's got armor on, right? Let's hope so. All right, we'll deal with... Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Completely full, man. Oh, that's awful. All right, so the first thing we're going to need is some cobweb. So as you can see here, I've got four bats, a couple of other things, uh, a couple of other things. That was me trying to make sure I wasn't mumbling. Um, so let's grab our... This. Now the reason we're here at the blood magic place, uh, the blood magic altar, is because if you take string like this, it's supposed to make cobweb, which we're going to need one of. So there we go. That's all we needed. How awesome is that? So if we do that, and now hopefully he hasn't despawned. Is he still there? And he's gone, just like that. <laughs> well, that was wor all, f all worth it, wasn't it? Oh, man, I'm going to have to repair that later. Well, we'll have to wait till night. Uh, the first thing we can do, though, we're going to need two, two types of plants for this. Um, we're going to need a critter snare and a grasper plant. So the critter snare is what involves the zombie. We'll have to do that at night, I guess. Um, hmm, maybe I can get one to spawn in here. That would be great. And then the grasper plant we're about to make. So I'm pretty sure for that we just need tall grass and, ah, we need a mutating sprig. So mutating sprig is like so, int twig. Int is, um, and mutandus extremis. An int is a thing that attacks you if you cut down a lot of witchery trees it's it's very scary the first time it happens and i'm not going to show it on camera and spoil it because it's 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 cool it's 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 a really cool thing added to the uh mod in my opinion so let's put away some of this junk i got while i was looking for the bats i got a bow i don't want that in there we'll leave it all right let's get some shears do we have any on us in our bag aha there they are all right we need a chest, so we'll take one, two of you. And then we will go make ourselves a uh, some grass for plants. So let's go grab some tall grass. I think we just need four. Is that enough? There we go. We'll do this up by the house. Um, be easier to see it. So the way you do this, as far as I understand, is let's get our shovel out. Got to be careful with this shovel, though. It's it's crazy fast. There we go. So if we do that, and we put a bucket of water there. Um, this, and then put our chest right here like this. You can see I've got the uh, mana spreader. Oh, it's so terrible. All right, so if you do that, and then we place the four pieces of tall grass. Like this. I'm not 100% sure if we need to close this off but we will the picture shows it like this so we're gonna do it and now we whack it with that and boom we've got four grasper plants so that's pretty cool easy enough we're gonna need that for the whole process um, I think today we'll just get as far as actually getting the owl and then next time we'll have to go about binding it as a familiar so next thing we're gonna need to do is Wait until nighttime, I guess, because we can, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, fix this, wait till nighttime so we can get the zombies, I'll get everything all set up for us, and I think I'm going to build a room to, to make the owls in, because if you don't, they'll fly away. So I'm going to do it in an enclosed space, as suggested by the website. So we'll be back when it's nighttime, and we can get some zombies uh, and turn them into uh, plants. <clears throat> all right. See you guys in a little while. All right, so we're back. It's nighttime. Um, I've almost got everything I need. Hope no creepers show up. Uh, we're going to need this cobweb for later. There's a zombie already. We'll grab this. Uh, let's try to get up here where I've laid out the trap. Um, try to keep creepers from getting in it. 
Oh, there we go. And we gotta get this guy in here. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Go right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Once he gets stuck in and dropped down. All right. Now we whack this with the mutating sprig. Supposedly. There we go. Critter plants. So, critter snares. So, let's go sleep real quick to get rid of all these mobs. So, it wasn't as hard as you would think it was. The uh, zombies seem to walk right into it, so it's almost like the uh, mod author has created something that makes them want to walk into it. So that's nice, otherwise that would have been really painful. Uh, that's all I could have all I could have thought. So let's grab this water, and then we'll fill it in with dirt. Now we're going to need a couple of things. Um, we got to go kill some cows, unfortunately. There should be a bunch down here. We should probably breed them. Hmm. Let's go breed the cows real quick. And then we need wheat. See, raw pork chops are and or raw beef. I don't think I have any in here, do I? Yeah, raw pork chops and raw beef are how you tame the owls. And also how you get them to mate. So, what am I looking for? Wheat. There we go. Alright, so let's breed them. Remember, always breed before you kill. Otherwise, you'll regret it. So we really just need one, two, three, four. That should hopefully be good. I don't actually know. Oh, stop it. There we go. <laughs> All right. So here's where we're going to be doing this at. We're going to close it off as well. So, from what I understand, we need one thing of water down here. We're actually going to put a piece of dirt here as well. I don't think that needs to be dirt, but it will be dirt. And then we need our grasper, critter snares, and our grasper plants. So, our grasper plants have to be, is that, like this, yes. And then our critter, or, uh, yeah, sorry, critter snares like that, grasper plants in the corners. Now, I think they actually need stuff in them, um, and we'll need a wolf as well. The grass for plants need charged attuned stones. I think they all do. No, just one of them, and then the rest need mutandus extremis. So, how much mutandus extremis do I have is the question. Let's go see. We can get a charged attuned stone, no problem, I think. Um... I'm pretty sure if we open up our witchery book right here, like that, where is it? Circle magic. Uh, let's see, infusions. Is it not? Is it under right of binding? Where is it at? Ah, right of charging. Um. Charge of stone, that's attuned stone, glowstone dust, redstone, wood ash, quicklime. For some reason, whenever I exit the book, there's a really loud click depending on how many times I've clicked pages. It's very, very, very odd. So let's check a look here. We've only got two of this stuff. Uh, we've got eight of this though, so we'll be good. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and craft an attuned stone and then I'll meet you guys back here to charge it and then we'll be able to make our owls. That'll be awesome. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and charge this stone. So it's basically stone, glowstone dust, redstone, quicklime, and wood ash, and about 2,000 altar power. And there we go, we got a charged stone. How awesome is that? So now we head back over to where we're going to be doing this. Let's grab a wolf as well. Um, one of our wolves. We've got a, a free one here. Okay, so let's grab you. Oh, don't don't make that sound. <laughs> you you're gonna it's 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 gonna be good. Don't don't worry. Oh, that makes me so sad. <laughs> okay, so we have to put uh, one, two, three, four. We have to put the owl or the uh, the uh, bats in the critter snares. So there we go. Very quickly get just napped up. Come on, go in the critter snare. 
Go over there to that one. There you go. <laughs> Come on, fly down. Get caught. There you go. Haha. <laughs> All right, so the bats are being really loud. <laughs> uh, that's already turned down a lot. Let's just do that. No, we're not going to do that. That's we don't do that cuz I edit that in post. So all right, and now we need to put Mutantis Extremis in three of them. One, two, three. The charged attuned stone in one of them as well. Right there. Now, this is where the cobweb comes in handy because we need to put that there. And last but not least, the wolf goes there. Now we whack it with. Does it need to be all the way down? Aha! There you go. Now we have four owls that are really loud. One, two, and they're all tamed. So now I think I can right click on all of them to make them to sit. Oh, that's cool. Will you stay? What's happening here? Okay, I'm gonna pick these things up because I'm getting stuck on them. So what do you do? You stay? take you with me so you're gonna be the one I'm gonna well which one do I want to I think I like this one the, the, the lighter color one so I'm gonna leave all you guys in here and I'll deal with deal with y'all later um I'm actually will you all stay I don't know if you'll fly away or not how do I tell you to stay it says right click but I don't know which one is to actually stay <laughs> All right, well, here's what we'll do. We'll just mark this so that I know exactly where it is. See, if you don't do that in an enclosed space, they'll just fly away. So, um, they're all teleporting to me. Is that because I didn't tell you to sit? So, if I tell you to stay, how about I'm just going to pick you all up like this? <laughs> That'll make my life so much easier if I just put you all in lassos <laughs> instead of trying to figure out where you're going. Uh, so let's just... So you're the one who behaved, huh? All right. Okay, so we've got our, um, our owl. I think this one was the one that we liked right here. So now, I think in the next episode, we have to worry about... This is so cool, isn't it? Look at that guy. That's awesome. Uh, I think we can breed them. Um, I think he'll just follow me around and fly and stuff. It'd be awesome. He teleports to me and floats around. and That's cool. Um, I think we have to look into trading with a demon next time. Um, one of the things that you can do in witchery, which is pretty intense and scary, is you can summon a demon, and then you can either kill it or trade with it. And if you try to trade with it, they can trick you. I think... Uh, we need a demon, some, something from a demon in order to bind a familiar to us. So let's, let's look here. Where's binding a familiar? Aha, here we go. Tear of the goddess, odor of purity, demonic blood right there and 8,000 altar power. So next episode, we'll have to look into to getting demonic blood, which will be an adventure all of its own. But, uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. It helps a lot. If you're not subscribed and you would like to, be, please subscribe. I would love to have you follow me so that I can put out more stuff. Um, hopefully, at the end of the month when I've moved in with my fiance, I will be able to post more videos other than just one to two a week. But who knows? Uh, it may just stay as one to two. I, I find that that's a good fit for my schedule. It allows me to live life. I'm also pretty busy with work. and It, it makes Minecraft fun and refreshing because I only play it two or three times a week and I don't get to, uh, you know, burn out. So, uh, my name is Jingles and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.